Welcome to another episode of Learning to Code with AutoHotKey. I'm Kyler Dalton. In this episode, we are going to learn about hot strings and how to activate programs. So, first of all, a hot string. What is a hot string? A hot string is essentially you type a few letters and you press space or enter, and it will finish typing whatever you've laid out. So, an example that I love to use is uh, let me know if you have any questions. So you just start out with two colons, and then the three, two to three to four, however many levers you want uh, to trigger this. Um, so I'm going to do LMK, like let me know, and then another two colons. <laughs> and I already have the other one running. Let's see what it does. <laughs> so two colons, LMK, two colons, and then you type out your phrase. Let me know if you have any questions, period. Now you'll know all those emails, that's why that happens so often, because it's so easy. That's it. That's your code. So anytime you go, uh, you will save it and reload it, obviously. In fact, I'll do that just for fun. LMK, you press space, and you're done. So any of those phrases or lines you use a lot of times, you can just set it up as a hot string, like things. You know. I only have to type three keys instead of however many keys that is, nine. So anyway, that's hot strings. Uh, the next thing we're going to learn is how to activate programs. Uh, okay, so another recommendation is to stick all your hot strings in one section so you can find it. And I was also going to mention it's really good to organize uh, your scripts into sections. So what I do is I, I set um, a hotkey and then on the next line I do an open squirrely bracket. And then at the end, I do a closed squarely bracket. And all this does is allow me to close that section so I can really clean up and have a really clean script. So just open brackets on the next line, closing brackets on a line on its own on the very end. So that will help you keep things clean. Okay, so now we're going to learn about activating programs. So as an example, we want to open Calculator in Windows. Okay, so what we're going to use for this is the run command. So I go to Google and find the documentation. AHK space run. First result is run from AHK. Okay, so run command has several parameters. Looks like the first one is target. And the other ones, since they're in the brackets, these are just optional. So we're going to focus on target. So we can open a document, URL, executable file, shortcut, etc., etc. So any of these we can use. So the next thing we're going to do is pick the hotkey we want to fire calculator. I am going to choose Windows key and C for calculator. Windows is like manipulating Windows. So, okay. Uh, the symbol for that is the hash sign or the pound sign. So number symbol, C, two colons, squarely brackets for organization, and then my command run. And I can do comma tab to keep things in a line or just do space here. So next I have to tell it what to open. So I need to find the path for my calculator. So I just went to Windows and searched for calculator, opened the file destination, and got to this, a shortcut, as we can see by that icon, to calculator. So I'm just going to hold shift, right click, copy as path. So if I copy the path, I can do the actual shortcut. I just paste it there. Save it, reload it, and then Command C. Okay, so that will open it. So also, I can right click and open the file location to skip the shortcut and go directly to the executable, which in this case is, happens to be called calc.exe. Okay, so if that's the name of the executable, I'm just going to replace the shortcut with calc.exe. Okay, save, reload. Windows C will open the actual executable. Okay, which is great. So I can also open a URL. So if I have it say google.com, type in there or copy it from my browser and I do WinC, it'll just open Google from my default browser, as you can see here. Okay, but what if I want a higher functionality? Okay, say I don't want it to open multiple calculators, which will do every time I press WinC. What if I want it to say Hey, if it's open, minimize it, or if it's minimized, restore it. Um, that's what we're going to talk about in future episodes. So stay tuned. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. 
And as always, happy coding.